over the past 30 days. The U.S. reported nearly 6.5 million new COVID cases, and the nationwide vaccine rollout has missed some key targets. The Trump administration expected to vaccinate 20 million Americans by January 1st, but it took until January 24th, three weeks later, to meet that goal. The CDC reports that over 40 million doses have been distributed across the country, but so far only half of them had made it into people's arms. People waiting for months, health officials unsure whether to reserve second doses. How far are we from a post-COVID life? I spoke to Maureen Ballen, Associate Professor of Infectious Diseases at Northwestern's Feinberg School of Medicine, to shed some light on the vaccine rollout. The federal government basically left it up to the states to decide the procedure under Trump's administration. So how has that process been and what is the reason behind the slow rollout? There has been a lot of uncertainty about exactly how many doses there are, how many doses the states would be receiving, and that has been a problem for planning. Um, because you certainly don't want to promise more doses than you actually are going to get in terms of just the personnel, uh, whatever communication form you're using with the patient. So is, is it an electronic? Um, is it an app? All of those things take money to do. And so um, I think that, that one of the issues was that the, the federal government was providing vaccine and nothing else. Um, I do believe that the COVID relief that was that was passed a few weeks ago did have some money for the vaccination, so that will be helpful. But there's probably going to be more need um, as the, as the rollout continues. So, what would be needed as like more of a plan from federal government for the vaccination to speed up? I think that people really need to know what the what the numbers of vaccine are. Right, they they need to have assurance that if they don't that if they give their first vaccine to a person that there's going to be a second dose coming, um, and they need to know how the supplies match with the populations in each um, tier. So you can't you know move on to phase one C if you you know don't know that you have enough to vaccinate your one B people. Yes, I also heard about news about leftover vaccines um, that are being wasted. What, what, what's the situation about that? Yeah, so I, I will, it starts, I think, with the, the requirements for the vaccines to be kept at very low temperature. They kind of plan to give a, a number of doses in a day. They thaw out the vaccine they think that they're going to need, and then maybe not everyone who had an appointment comes. And so they actually can't keep the vaccine until the next day because it, it will have expired. How far are we really from getting back to normal life? Unless either another vaccine is produced, you know, one of the antivirus produced and approved and, or that the messenger RNA um, producers can make more than what they've already committed to, then I think you're looking probably at the entirety of 2021 before we could get to that herd immunity level. Can people stop wearing masks and social distancing once they're vaccinated? What, what we know that the vaccines prevent infection, they prevent people from getting sick, but we aren't sure, but we aren't sure at this point whether they're going to prevent transmission. So having had the vaccine, I could still encounter someone with COVID. I could still get the virus in my respiratory. Hannah Jiang, Northwestern News Network.